Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to our fellow TVians. It's a, ple a pleasure and a privilege once again to be here. Actually, we are confronted with a very important agenda, and we need to all support it in prayer. Uh, we don't want this thing to begin. You know, we want it to be a normal kind of ailment because we can have our great leaders falling apart or being teared down by sickness and diseases, you know, ailment. And therefore, we need to pray and support our broadcasters, our great leaders, you know, in Bedelic. And yesterday, we also had information about Ace Fletcher. And, you know, we know there could be many other people that are going through some challenges. We want to pray to support our leaders, that the Lord will sustain them, the Lord will give them strength, you know, the Lord will give them power to continue the good work that they do. You know, they are great inspiration to all of us. And when they are being stricken down with ailments, it goes a long way to affect our operations here. And therefore, I would like all of us to give it deepest concentration as we walk along, as we meditate and pray. Remember them in prayer. Already admin has through the towel to us that we should support in prayer, but I want to also add my voice, you know, as long as we are the prayer force behind the community, we want to pray today. We dedicate the whole day as a day of prayer. Uh, anytime you are praying for TBC, I want you to concentrate more on the, the deliverance of our leaders, the healing of our leaders, and the protection of our leaders. In Exodus chapter 20, uh, 26, as you read, Exodus chapter 15, as you read from the verse of 26, Exodus 15, 26, the Bible says it categorically that I will not put the diseases and sickness that I put upon the Egyptians upon you, for I am the Lord that heals you. I am the Lord that heals you. That is our faith and that is our belief. God says as long as we work for him, we live for him, we are working to relieve humanity from afflictions and servitude. He will not put the diseases, the afflictions that were upon the Egyptians upon us because he is the Lord that heals us. And therefore, we are calling upon the Lord that he should extend his healing wings, cover our leaders in Bederic, wherever he is. We want this to be a thing of the past. He should rise and join us in the battlefront. He says, I am a warrior. I can't be sidelined. I can't be lying down whilst others are working. And yes, indeed, that is who he is. And we are remembering them and in the other broadcaster, in Bederic, is Fletcher, and in the other person, leader, that is going through affliction. We want to channel our force today, connecting our force and our power with your power. Our faith with their faith. You know, there is an issue that happened in the book of Acts chapter 12. As you read from the verse of 5 and 6, Peter was arrested, you know, because of the propagation of the gospel. He was arrested and the purpose of the authority that arrested him was to destroy, to kill him the next day. The Bible said, though Peter was arrested, but constant prayer was made by the church for him. Though Peter be in prison, Constant prayer was made by the church for him. And in the Bible says, because of the prayer of the church, the constant prayer of the church, oh, oh a day for him to be released or to be taken to the, to, 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 to the, the slaughter, to kill. An angel of the Lord appeared by night and delivered him from the shackles, the bondage of the in prison. And he was delivered. And therefore we are praying that, May the Lord send his angels to heal our leaders and whoever is hidden out there that we don't know, but he's been tormented by sickness, been afflicted by disease and been stricken down by any ailment. May the living God heal. Today we want the Lord to reach out and give the broadcasters and the leaders strength so that we can push the vision. We have a great agenda. We have a global agenda and this agenda cannot be can, cannot be undertaken when you are not fit. And therefore, we need strong men, strong men, powerful men, like our great admin. You see how strong he is, sitting on his ass 24-7, just working tirelessly, and I am amazed. And that is the kind of strength that we need in the life of all our leaders so that we can all together push 
TBC is not a thing of an individual. Don't think you alone there can make it prosperous. You make your part and I do my part. And together we push the agenda and we reach our liquidity. And therefore, we don't want to leave anyone behind. We want to move together. We want to move together in unity and in love. Thank you so much. This is a brief exhortation. And I believe Exodus chapter 15, the verse 26. And Acts chapter 12, the verse of 5 and 6. There is going to be deliverance as long as we pray. God bless you all. Thank you.